up that way. 93. 111? 111 and 93. My name is Christopher Bunt, and I'm a fisheries research scientist with Biotactic, and we're tracking largemouth bass that we implanted with radio transmitters in 2015. Now we're in our third year of radio tracking these fish. Multi-season radio tracking, habitat utilization, movement patterns, um, responses to changes in lake level and invasive species. And those are sort of the main targets of the study. Uh, my name is Timothy Fernandez and I just graduated from McMaster University and I'm now doing my master's at U of T uh, and I've been involved with Biotactic for the past year and a half. No, that's gotta be... That's 203. The first step is getting to know what the little triplet sonar pulse sounds like because separating that from static is kind of the first step. And then once you get that down, uh, you, you learn to quickly snap on and stop the frequency on that one so you can track it down and try and get the code out of it. And so after you do that for months or a couple, first couple times, you kind of get the hang of listening for that pulse and then jumping on it, stopping it trying to find the directionality, where it is specifically, trying to get right on top of it, and then you get the code, and then you get an accurate GPS point. The fish are actually leading us to critical habitat rather than biologists having to try and think like fish. And we've got some areas that we've identified consistently now that the fish are using as spawning sites, and there are areas that were previously completely unknown to us. And for example, today alone, we've got a radio tag population of fish in this lake of 27, 28 fish that we know of for sure that have radios in them, and we tagged, we tracked over a third of that population in one discrete bay today alone. And so that's more critical habitat, probably even more critical than the overwintering habitat because it's the habitat that the fish are using for reproduction. What makes this a one-of-a-kind study is the duration of the project, where we're tracking fish for at least four years, individually tracking fish for four years, four rotations in season, whereas most radio tracking telemetry studies that are done with any species, um, you'd be lucky to get one year's worth of tracking. And there's often, because they're such short-lived studies, there are, spe there are tagging effects, handling effects, that you know when you've only got transmitters that last for a month or two, you've got to use data that pot potentially could be compromised in some kind of way, just by conducting the study. That's what I'm saying, these fish, the behavior, the details, and what we're learning from this population is completely invaluable, like there are zero tagging and handling effects on any of these fish.